Revelations to the apostles, elders of great millstone, true well. Citations to the hopeful elect out there, man. You Akim, just the Dakim, that do the second half most truth and sincerity. I'm the priest, Shaman. I'm going to do a quick and transit um, because, you know, I don't know if a brother did a video on it yet um, and put this guy's image out there. So I'm not going to speak on who I'm talking about. But an individual that was once among us, the Lord got him. Out here looking bad. He got caught up in some shit with the law. And that's all I'm going to say. But when we saw the guy, who was just like, oh shit, man. And one thing you notice is, what the book of Psalms 34 and 7 says? 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him. Pastor Ricard told us years ago, 34th and 7th after camp if you leave this thing then you subject to all manners of spirits see in this truth yeah demons fuck with you but there's still a hedge about you to where just like Job they can't go past a certain bound once that hedge is because Job had the same hedge the elect all have that hedge you know or at least I'll say you know when you're working in the Lord you, you have that hedge about you to them angels so Satan could do whatever he wanted to do just like how Satan do whatever he wants to do to us except anything out of the jurisdiction of what the Lord will allow now when that shield has been lifted then shit man it's a free for all them demons go in and this guy he was in the truth Years ago, you know, I'm not sure if every brother right now know because it, it was a little while back, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's fucked up. Dude's in a, he's in a, he's on some element shit, you know what I'm saying? Or elementary as we call them. But I thought to myself, you know, the Mosa always makes it to where brothers somehow could stumble across these dudes. You know, after they fall out years later, some brother stumbled across and like, holy shit, the Lord really doing a number on this dude. And that is to put fear in us that we endure. Because we see the repercussions that the Lord will do, all right, to those that forsake him, you know. We don't have shit in this world, really. Everything in this forsaken place is temporal, man, you know. And non trustworthy. But the truth in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's really the only thing we have to latch on to. That's the only real purpose. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. That's the only real purpose we have here. Fear the works. Fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to do his commandments. That's our sole duty as a man. Once that is, you picked up the plow and look back and forsake this thing. One, you're not fit for the kingdom. And our initial reactions was to mock the dude. Fucking laugh at him. Because how silly does it look if a man spent half his life building a building and stops halfway through or just doesn't finish it? You just mock him. And guess what? Proverbs, the first chapter, says, I would laugh at your calamity. Now, how does the Lord laugh at you? your calamities? And, you know, that goes into Jacob's trouble, all right? But we also laugh when the Lord does a number on those that turn his, their back on him and his son. But that's a la that's the Lord laughing to us, you know? And Yehovah Shem Yahushua knows none of us want to be put in that particular lot of the one that is undesirable. And the scary thing is, Yeah, no, it is scary. That's actually scary. Is that it's not in our control. The Mosai is a separatist. The Mosai deals with favoritism. And there ain't shit we can say about it. You know what I'm saying? We can just hope. 
and do the things that the hope for the elect will do, do the things that the elect will do, sort of like fake it till you make it, I guess, right? Except, you know, we're not faking it, I'm just using that as a, a lack of better term, you know what I'm saying? We're just doing the things that the elect will do in hopes, as the scripture says, all right, that we'll, we'll make it, we'll be of that lot, all right? But really, in the most accurate uh, way to summarize it, it's, it just comes down to election. It comes down to the most I will have mercy on you because you have individuals that will fall worse than others. And the most I will show mercy on one dude and the next law, the law is just be like, fuck them. So, you know, with these things in mind, it's like, how can we take the Lord's mercies for granted? You know? The Lord at any moment could just destroy us. And even worse, take this truth from us, man. So the Lord used individuals that have gone that gone astray as examples, all right, that we should always be in fear. You know? And it's what keeps us around. Just like, you know, just like women, what keeps a woman around? That uncertainty, you know? When she's uncertain if you might dump her and leave her for another bitch if you want point, right? Well, we're the Lord's woman. And that uncertainty that the Lord could replace us at any minute that we're not special, none of us, really. You know, the Lord could raise up rocks. Um, as John the Baptist said. Okay? Or quoted, actually, as he quoted. I believe the Lord told that to Moses. The Lord don't need us, man. He really, we, we need him. That's, that's what people in the world don't get. They think that they're doing a favor, I've been saved, I'm, I'm giving myself to him, shut the fuck up, the Lord don't need none of us, man, the most high is the most high, but earth and ashes proud in this society, you know what I'm saying, at no point should we get beside ourselves and thinking I'm this guy, I'm this dude, and so how would all that mindset, the Lord can zap it. and the Lord has given us examples of individuals, all right, that he did that to. Right? Scripture speak about truth not the upper room or truth not the highest seat. Because they'll come they'll come one day that'll take your ass out that seat and bring your ass low. But if you choose the lowest seat, you're already at the bottom. And that's what the word humble means of the earth. Low. See? So our minds gotta be fully locked in. And just like football, some or any other major sport. When a guy says, I'm thinking about retiring, you already know that he's already retired. Because he's already, his mind, his mental is already, you know what I'm saying? Because there's certain uh, guys um, out there that we're just not seeing. Months, six months. We're not seeing them out there teaching. They not, might not necessarily be affiliated with Great Millstone, but we just don't see them out there, man. And it's like, bro... Once you have inklings of, ah, oh, man, I'm going to take this much off, that much, you're already out of it, bro. That's just how it works. That's just how it works. Very similar to those sports, like I mentioned, man. I'm thinking about retiring, and I don't want to do it no more. Maybe I might do it. Once those demons and seizes festering, it's only a matter of time. You know? Hey man, we're too we're too close to the end to be in that wavery, doubtful, bullshit ass dem demonic spirit, man. Too close to the end. The finish line is there. Focus on the on the finish line. I was watching the brother's video and he made a good point. He said, when somebody's running a race, right? They're running the race. They're not focused on the crowd. They're not looking out in the crowd while they're running the race or wondering what the crowd is doing. They're focused on hitting that finish line. And as they approach that finish line, they give it the very old. You know, they don't ease up. Okay, yeah, don't tell me about Usain Bolt. <laughs> He's an exception. 
They be, they be, yeah. Crossing the, the, the finish line on sprinters with their head yeah. leaning and shit, trying to, you know, give it their very last everything. That should be our mindset, but every day. You know? As we itching closer towards the end. Things will intensify, man. We'll be tried. I know they might say Great Little Stone sounds like a broken record. I mean, you read the scriptures. The scriptures sound like a bro broken record. The prophets are on the scene pretty much saying the same thing over and over. But that's the Lord trying to beat it in the heads of our stiff-necked people. But it is very much true. We're vast approaching the end. We shall be tried more rigorously. And the more you try, the more you should be praying and hoping all right, that the Lord has mercy on us, us and keep teaching. Simple, but some might say it's not easy. But it is simple. Teach the work of the Lord. Teach the word of the Lord. All right, to the very end, and you shall make it. With that, I'm gonna give all praises to Hawu, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kafidash. That belongs to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone True Wealth. Citations to the whole elect out there. You are kids, you are kids. That do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. And shalom.